Hi everyone, so I make a lot of lone traveler videos and one question I get asked a lot is uh, how I can access boss a chest without um, without uh, fighting the actual boss and the reason why this is possible is the home buffer glitch on Nintendo Switch or the buffer glitch on PC. Uh, I do not believe that Xbox has a way to do this. Um, I've heard no like confirmed reports of people being able to induce the lag necessary to use this glitch. Um, but basically, uh, I wanted to make a quick video to show it. And there are other resources and stuff, but um, I guess I want to just explain uh, a little bit of what I know at least, and if anyone was interested uh, watching my videos and such. So um, to do the home buffer glitch on to do the buffer glitch on PC, um, it's four Windows keys. It's Windows, Control, Shift, and B, and that will create a uh, a uh, graphics driver reset. So when it resets, um, basically, uh, in that moment when it resets, uh, the game will like lag basically, and it'll allow you to walk past the check the uh, checkpoint by a few steps. So um, when you hit those four keys together, and I'll leave the description below by the way, uh, you're gonna hear a small beep, and that's gonna be your graphics drivers resetting. So right now I'm gonna hit it, and you're gonna hear a small beep. And when I hit it, I'm gonna move into the boss uh, area, um, and the game's like gonna kind of be like laggy, and um, it won't register that I'm like moving. So I'll be able to move it past, and then I'll get the boss prompt to move me back and then it'll be too late because I'll be inside the checkpoint already so just to kind of demonstrate it I don't know if I timed that right sometimes it can be a little tricky timing wise but oh. okay that's better um but yeah that second time um you should have heard it uh that's uh, how you can access these uh checkpoints on Nintendo Switch it's the same thing um it's just instead of that uh graphics driver reset you would hover over perhaps not and then when you hit perhaps not you'd go into the home menu so you'd see like your, your other Nintendo Switch games like you know Odyssey or Breath of the Wild or whatever and then um you'd hold the left direction again so that you can uh, or you know whatever direction the boss is in and then you'd uh hit home and re-enter the game and like right now I would be so right now when she's moving back I would have hit home and in the home when you're in the home screen, hold left and then re-enter the game with the home button. Um, and one easy way to do that is to just actually mash home. So what you do is you hover over perhaps not. The moment you hit perhaps not, start mashing home and also holding left. And then you just like move past it. But um, it's the same thing uh, in terms of, uh, it's basically the same as this uh, graphics driver reset that I do. Um. Yeah. Um, the other way to do this is uh, via, uh, on PC at least, there's another way to do this, which is with uh, win windowed mode. So right now I'm on full screen mode. I'm going to switch to window mode and uh, not borderless though, but windowed mode. And uh, let me just increase my resolution a little bit. Um, actually, let me double check OBS real quick too. Okay, um, OBS. See that this fits. Okay, yeah, whatever, that's good enough. Okay, um, so right now I'm on windowed mode. Uh, you probably cannot see it, I think. Um, but uh, basically I have the window bar at the top of the screen, and that can also induce lag. So, um, Right now I'm like lagging a lot by uh, clicking and hold and dragging the uh, top of the windows bar. So that's the same thing here. I'm going to be moving across the screen while also uh, doing lag, uh, while, while inducing lag and that should allow me to bypass this. I don't do this very often though so. Okay, I'm not very good at this because I don't do this uh, method very much. But basically, let me try this again. Oh, hi there. Sorry that it took so long, but basically, um, I'm dragging the uh, top of the windows bar to create create lag. 
And um, just to note, this does work in other boss checkpoints. Um, I'm demonstrating it in Maul right now, but I'm going to demonstrate the same thing, uh, the same two methods in uh, the Marsum Catacombs now, which is the more common one that people ask me about, since that's in a lot of my solo runs, and people uh, wonder how I get access to the boss checkpoint. So right now, same exact thing. I'm going to run over to the boss checkpoint right here. I'm going to hit those four keys, which is Windows, Control, Shift, and B. You'll hear beep, which is the, um, which is basically the, uh, Windows graphics drivers resetting. And I'll like in that beep moment, I'll be holding the, the run button and also hold it up and I'll be able to bypass the checkpoint. So sorry, sorry that my timing is terrible. Oh, okay, there. So you can see, I can get access to it and without finding the boss. Um, and uh, the other method I mentioned with lag reduction works as well. Um, obviously, I'm not as good with that, but I guess I'll try to demonstrate it as well. Okay. Alright, there. Uh, so yeah, that is the two methods um, on PC and on, uh, remember, on uh, Nintendo Switch, it's the same exact thing. Basically, you'd uh, run over here, hover over perhaps not, and then an easy way to do it is just mash home. So I would uh, hit perhaps not and hit home right away. And in the home screen, I would, when you see your other Nintendo Switch games, just hold the up uh, analog stick or the up key. Uh, I use analog stick personally, and I do not know if holding run actually helps or not, but I uh, don't do it on Nintendo Switch anyway, but I would hold up and I would hit home to re-enter the game. And an easy way to do it is kind of just mash home actually if you're lazy and you'll like pretty much won't miss the timing for it. Because there is like a small timing window. Um, but yeah, that is how you do the buffer glitch on PC or home buffer glitch on Nintendo Switch. Um, the four keys uh, that you hit um, can all be mapped to a auto to, to auto hotkey or something, so that you can uh, hit them all at once too for convenience. And I'll link a, leave the link below to the program I use to link them. The last last thing I wanted to just talk about is uh, the other the other applications of this home buffer glitch. Um, so one way it's used a lot is uh, in Octopath speedruns. Um, it's used to uh, do a variety of other glitches like journal state for void state and uh, using it you can get access eventually to like duping items and um, duping even characters and jobs and all that but uh, I don't really know how to do those or I'm not very good at them anyway but um, the other application of home buffer glitch is for signposts like this where it says I don't think that this is where I should be going at the moment she walks back you can actually get past this um, boss point this is supposed to be the dungeon for Therian 4 by the way and you can see that I haven't actually recruited Therian or done it, his, any of his things this is my uh, solo Tressa account so basically um, wh when I'm here I can uh, do crap um sorry my uh okay one second okay so i did the same thing where i uh hit the um hit the uh graphics driver reset while accessing the um boss while accessing that um signpost and this is the same thing on uh nintendo and then i get access to this dungeon and i can loot all the chests in here by the way darius does not spawn down here um you have to actually do therian chapter four uh in the story to actually get him to spawn down here but you can loot all the chests um like that chest right there i don't remember what it is but there totally worth it okay so um you get access to all the chests in here and uh that is actually useful for solo ofi and solo prim a lot um reminder that xbox cannot do this as far as i know um only PC and Nintendo Switch. If someone on Xbox can confirm whether or not it's possible to induce lag and do this glitch, it would be uh, useful. Um, it doesn't usually pop up there. Okay, so something else is, uh, it's the same thing on Nintendo Switch. You would hover over this, hit this, and hit home immediately. So hit this and, ho and while she's walking back, hit home. And then when you're in the home screen, seeing your other Nintendo Switch games, hold right and then mash home to re -enter. You don't have to have mash it, but you just like hit it once even. And as long as your timing is good, you can uh, re-enter. 
but um if you actually check out my uh like very first like um or like my uh ofi solo run on nintendo switch you can actually see me do this um part way uh, through the game and see me like hit uh access this dungeon in that solo um but the, the, that's the way that you can do this home buffer glitch on uh, nintendo switch or pc um feel free to leave any questions or comments below and um i i uh, hope that this helps some answer some questions about people who wanted to know how you can access treasure chests in boss ch uh, rooms without fighting them or how to access uh other like past signposts and such um oh i did want to mention i guess um it, it is used in uh glitch speedruns as i said earlier uh people use it to start haunt at one and then jump out of bounds and like do some crazy shenanigans um you can check out uh, glitch docked bath runs if you want to see them happen and such but uh thanks for watching and uh you know feel free to leave any comments or questions below and take care have a good day bye